What's up, guys? Y'all know it is. VK's life. We're back at it again for cooking with VK. Earlier, I cooked some chicken breast that was on a stick. Now, I'm about to cook my chicken wings. Maybe they'll last me for like two or three days. There's just a lot of chicken wings here. Bought them from the store. I'm going to go ahead and um, prepare them and show you the finished work later on. All right, people, let's get started on the chicken wings. Remember what I said. When you're cooking your chicken, lemon on your chicken. Lemon, okay? Get the smell of that, the the smell of the chicken out. You know how it smells before you cook it and everything. Even some people after they cook their chicken, you still can smell the, the chicken smell. You know, when you season up your, your chicken really good, you put your lemon on there, you get you get a good flavor and you don't smell that, that whole chicken smell anymore. See, that's the Haitian style. Haitian, I eat. Qu'on a, qu'on a ici, hein, maintenant. Et qu'on ça nous fait manger. Make sure toujours qu'il y a un citron, maintenant. Nous avons fait manger, especially nous avons chauffé viande. Viande pour avoir un sang de viande. Citron, ok? Well, here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut up a little bit. Right here, down the middle. So my chicken can cook when it, when it start cooking. I'm cutting in the middle of it a little bit. Do that to every single piece. Every single piece, every, every one I have right here. So you know chicken, chicken wings, you know, it took a little time to cook, so at least you want to get all the inside cooked right here. We'll be back later. Chicken cutting down the middle of it. You see it. I had um, the frost, it was the frost in here. Now it's right here. Got my lemon. I'm about to start on the seasoning process right now. I squeeze a little bit of lemon there. I think I might get enough juice up. And, and don't get so much juice like that from the lemon. You see that? You see how I'm laughing again? You see how I'm washing the chicken? Not again. You see that? You see that? So I'm washing it. I'm going to put a little right here. You got to get more juice in the middle. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get inside that chicken, you know? Get inside that baby, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. For the Caribbean, boy. I like cooking. There's too much mess. There you go. I cook. I cook, boy. And I do cook. And trust me, it tastes good. May not be the best cook, but I cook. And another thing I got into all sitting here is the lemon. And a little bit more wash in there. Got lemon. Got lemon in there, boy. Got lemon in there, man. I'm gonna pan fry it. First, I'm gonna pan fry it and um, like let it get a little like crispy golden and stuff. So once it gets a little stuff, get a little crispy golden, start cooking. Start um, cooking in the inside. I'm gonna pour a little um, water on top of there. Let it, let, let it steam up, let it um, kind of like bake. The bake um, stove bake. Bake it on the stove in the pan. So, like, so put some water in there so it can be, it's gonna get all crispy first. Get um, get that like, crispy wine color the flavor and then steam it, steam it down with some water so it can be kind of like a grilled wine crispy. Yeah, you'll see what I'm saying when I'm done with it. Get some seasoning, black pepper. Love to use some hippies when we cook. Not hippies, but I mean, uh, Maggi. <laughs> My bad, but you know, hippies is one of the seasons that stuff you can make with um, Maggi. Okay. Got a little salt, salt. Not too much. I ain't trying to get too much salt in there, so you know, I got a lot of season in there, man. That's gonna do, do me good. Some black pepper.
I usually add a little butter and a little flavor. See how I'm turning it up? Getting my chicken all, all that season inside the chicken. Getting all the season, you know, butter and everything. Getting it all inside the chicken. Look at that. Ooh. See that color? The chicken is showing down there. You can have it some nice color and stuff. Oh yeah. Look at that stuff. Look at that wing. This is how you make chicken wing Haitian style. Look at that. You see this? Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in with the camera so you can see the seasoning that's on here. See the seasoning? Yes. Yes. We'll get a little bit more, more seasoning inside the chicken and then get ready to cook it. Now we're gonna start with the cooking process. That's in there. Let's we'll make it into a sauce. We we'll put the chicken in first. Let it get a little um, golden and crispy, and then I'm gonna drop this water over it. Then let it um, cook, marinate in some sauce. I'm starting to get a bit of that golden color I wanted, a little crispiness, so let it cook a little bit longer and see how it's coming out. I'm not using any any oil or really anything to fight to fight it, so I try to stay away from too much oil. That's just a bit of depth of butter. A little bit of butter and um with the seasoning of the chicken. That's how it's cooking right now. Back at it again in the kitchen. VK is life in the kitchen. Cooking some chicken wings. Last me for maybe two days. Tomorrow, one day. I'm not gonna eat them. That was uh, my seasoning I did with them. I'm letting them get a little um, crispy first. Once they get a little crispy, start crispy, uh, then cooking, get a little. Go ahead and um, pour the sauce back over it so it can cook into a sauce. So I get the, some chicken wing sauce. Let it um cook. And just let um I, what's that word I'm looking for, man? Get it, let it finish cook or something, good so I can get that nice chicken sauce. Thank you guys for tuning in with Cooking with Vacay today. 
on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of different videos of my daily workout, um, me cooking um, my meals every now and then, travel videos of um, different of, of living abroad, showing you uh, different parts of um, of the, the places I'm living at, the, the country I'm living at. Right now, I'm currently in Medellin, Colombia. Been here for about three months now. Mi español es más bueno. Yo um, aprendí cuando yo viviendo aquí en um, tres tre meses. Yo aprendí es, um, más español. Um, no sé cuando, um, cu cuando días yo paseando aquí es más. Um, no sé para tres meses más o cuatro días más. Uh, ahora es um, en mi... Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Um, uh, ahora mi cocina, en mi um, kitchen. I, I, I forgot to say kitchen in um, Spanish, but dale eso. Alitas de pollo. Like I said, guys, thank you for tuning in my channel. You know, um, subscribe below. Stay tuned for more videos that's coming up. I'm um, traveling abroad, living abroad. How do I, how do I um, get to travel so much to different countries? And um, how do I support myself financially and everything? Hey, I'm sure you know parts of like how I do it, how I live abroad, right here. You know, I I live the daily life just like everybody else. Though wherever I'm at, if I'm in um, Thailand, I you know I live like a local, maybe with a bit of um more of a different standards of life of living you know when it comes to like a co my accommodation that's what i spend the most money on but anyways not to take too much time about this video it was about me cooking today and everything so you know um stay tuned for more videos man vacay's life man thank you for watching and i'm working on bringing you guys more videos every different day here's a little 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 look of my apartment right here I give you a better video on different uh, on it later on. So today was um in, in <laughs> cooking in the kitchen with VK's life.